Yeah, usually they're spawning a little sooner. And the, the how deep the lake is, I think the water stayed cold a little longer than normal. And so usually about May 15th to June 15th, you get the best spawn. I just want to let air out of a fish. Yeah, so right, you know, John, what's interesting is, that, you know, for people that haven't seen this before, I mean, we're going to shoot the carp. And they're a great fertilizer for your garden. Put them in the buckets. We're going to take them back. You know, they make great fertilizer for that. But if not, these carp get up in the grasses. They root them up. They spawn. They tear up the vegetation. And then they can quickly displace the game fish. low you were right of course I got him got some lettuce we all should have our face painted because this these carp are elusive and they're hard to get to they're hard to see and they just you got to put a stock on them I got him I got him yeah he's got that one <laughs> I cannot believe these two. I have two for two. Oh. Oh, that's a, that's a burger. Dude, I may have just gone Pope and Young you, here. I think you went Pope and Young. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great oh, one that's, to start with. That's a booner fish. I, I think you ought to let Gary take it off the air. I think John <laughs> can take it off the air. I like that you went down there, John, in a big way. That is a good fish. <laughs> That's a big one. That fish was just sitting there resting. And uh, I mean, take a look at the size of this fish, folks. That's a, I don't know, it's a good solid 20 pound. Very cool. This is a blast. If you've if you have never done this, you need to get to Sportsman's Warehouse. They'll set you up with all your gear. Now I'm going to grab my Pope and Young. That's Pope and Young carp right there, folks. Take a look at that right there, Pope and Young. My once in a lifetime uh, tag. Pretty awesome, dude. First two shots on two for two. First one that. It uh, pulled through, second one, that's probably, what do you think, John? How much do you think that carp weighs? I'm gonna go 340 pounds, 350 pounds. Yeah. 350? Fish I'm, Stewart. I mean, book. he's gonna score probably 380. 380 in the books. 380 yeah. in the books, so that's not bad. Pope and Young, first time, not bad. I'm not gonna spend any time with some of these satellite carp. I'm looking for the herd carp. <laughs> I'm here with Rex Allen, Allen's camera, Rex. Time for our Allen's camera tip of the week. What have you got for us? Well, today we're talking about uh, tripods. For doing video, one of the big problems with video is people will shake. And you get lots of shake when you're filming video and the, all professionals use a tripod with a fluid head on it. It makes the video steady. Um, it really improves the quality of your video. Uh, not too expensive of a purchase and you can use them for all your cameras. So any, any, any camera fits any tripod and it makes your video quality looks so much smoother so when you're when you're moving from subject to subject you're not shaking and making somebody feel sick watching the TV and tripod with a fluid head is, is a must for shooting video. Rex, we've got a new feature for people. It's our Allen's camera video or picture submission. Tell us what people can do. Well we want you to send in your favorite video that you shot or your favorite picture that you took and submit them um, on allenscamera.net, you clicked on the Hooked on Utah Picture of the Week link, and then you're going to send that to us, and every week we're going to give away a prize to the, to the best picture or video that we get submitted every week. Can't wait to see your pictures and your videos. John the Master Pemberton, this guy, he sleeps in, in carp scent. <laughs> oh, got him. Nice shot. John's on the board. That's a big carp. Look at the size of that carp. Nicely done. You're well on your way to filling your governor's tag. He actually had two before I even got one. Guess I'm a good guy, just not a good shooter. <laughs>